Because ultimately, you know, my education didn't bring me purpose. It didn't bring me peace. I mean, I used my education to glorify the Lord once I got to know Him. And so. Thank you for listening to the Lee Fulton Experience every Tuesday from 4 to 6. 4 to 6. Uh-huh. Sometimes I ask some quick questions and... So I just did a video um, pretty much about my last decade. And watching the video of the last decade, I touched on music and uh, my walk with the Lord. And at the very beginning, I shared that I went to college, but just for the sake of saying that's where I did drugs. (laughs) And I thought, well... If I actually want to portray my last decade accurately, I would probably want to talk about my education more and and the places that I've lived. Yeah, I don't talk about my education much, uh, but I was blessed with a real good one, um, thanks to my parents, um, putting me and my younger brother in the best schools wherever we lived, which, by the way, I've lived in Abu Dhabi, Saudi Arabia, Louisiana, Trinidad and Tobago, Bogota, Colombia, Doha, Qatar, Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, and Texas. Woo! (laughs) Yeah, there were either like American like curriculum or international curriculum, which was pretty smooth. Maybe not. I didn't really care which college I went to. I just wanted to party. So that kind of shows you where I was at spiritually. Um, and not like Holy Ghost party, like <laughs> like worldly, like drunk and high on substances parties. And so that's kind of what I did when I went to college. And I, you know, shared just briefly about that before. But college for me looked like partying, music, and then God. Because partying and music leads to death on their own. Um, but God redeemed me. And so in college, I did a lot of um, partying and music. And then when those were not sustaining me, I found God. Hallelujah. And uh, that was the, you know, such a pivotal time in my life was college. Like my freshman, sophomore, junior year of college, like I decided I was just going to party as much as I could because that was where I was finding truth. Like (laughs) somehow... Uh, I thought I was finding purpose, you know, like I was, you know, discovering my identity. You know, you leave home, right? And you leave your parents and you discover like what your own schedule is going to be, you know, who your friend group is going to be. And for me, like I didn't just have my high school friends to start hanging out with in college like, you know, some people do. Like it was just a brand Brand new new world. Oh, this is liberating for me, you know? Like, now I can look at it 10 years later. Like, I was so scared when I first went to college, like, to leave my parents and my brother. Like, I wouldn't tell them that or even admit it to myself. I remember, like, my first night in the dorm, I invited a bunch of random people into my dorm to, like, play them a song. Like, that was me. Like, my identity is in music, so I'm going to play you a song so that you can get to know me. But that wasn't really true. Like, my identity is not in music. My identity is in God. I am a son of God. I'm a son of Jesus Christ. I am loved by him. That is my identity. And I love that. It doesn't matter what I'm talking about. Like it goes back to the gospel, which is that the father, our father in heaven gave his only son so that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. The gospel is so simple. It's so simple. And, uh, Thank God. Thank God for him. Thank God. Because ultimately, you know, my education didn't bring me purpose. It didn't bring me peace. I mean, I used my education to glorify the Lord once I got to know him. And so I graduate. I get my undergrad degree. Praise the Lord. I mean, only by the grace of God. I had a I had a I had more of a degree in partying than I did in like electronic media and communications. <laughs> it, 
It was in between undergrad and grad school that I accepted Jesus. The Lord receives me like the prodigal son. And all in the same season, I get a girlfriend. I move into an apartment with some Jesus-loving roommates. I get a car. And then I, I decided I was going to go into grad school. I was invited and I was going to go to it. And I also became a lab instructor at Texas Tech University. I get into grad school for mass communication. I pretty much, like, led a lecture twice a week for these undergrad students. And that's that's the power of Jesus' transformation, like, his transformational power. Like, I was equipped. Like, I was the person. Like, it wasn't like, oh, here I am, still lost, leading the lost into the lost abyss. Like, no, like, I was saved And there's something to that, you know, like I totally believe in discipleship and I believe that it's good to, you know, grow under the leadership of someone who walks in the Lord. But I would also say that the Holy Ghost leads us all into truth. Praise the Lord for that. And so, yeah, I got a master's degree in mass communications. The Bible says, you know, don't let the wise boast in their wisdom, you know. And, and I can say, like, I only boast in knowing God. Um, that's Jeremiah 9, um, 23 and 24. Like, I will only boast in that I know God. And that's why, you know, I was able to get a grad school degree, honestly. <laughs> that was my main education, I realize now that when I went to college, I got a degree in addiction and I got a degree in recovery. That was like, there's just so much, guys. Like, yeah, God's hand was and is like still like just on my life. Um, Because he he just, he knows how much he's pulled me from and I'm aware of it. And there's another scripture that says those who have been like forgiven much, like, loves much and I think that's another reason like people ask me like why are you so on fire for God like how did that happen like I think as a result of moving around so much and not knowing my identity to being led into drugs and alcohol and lust to still being lost in college on my own like when I found the one like when I found Jesus when I found like my father's love who has brought me into all truth and peace and just, like, revelation of who he is. Like, how could I not, how could I not be on fire for him? So that definitely sums up, like, my education. All right, so the camera died because I obviously just has so much to talk about. Um, (laughs) Thank you guys for watching so much. Uh, Subscribe as you're led. There's a link in the description if you want to give towards more holy art. Uh, Y'all are real G's. Okay. Bye-bye. Yo, I'm bouncing around a lot in this video. (laughs) Sorry, editor, which is is actually me. Oh, shoot. Okay.